Well, thank you for this meeting. Well, after a year and a half, uh, well, uh, watching a TV screen, this Finally. is a, uh, yeah. very much uh, appreciated to see something in real life. <laughs> The problem we have with BIPV is that it's not very well known. If you talk to people around you about BIPV, most of the time people have never heard of it. On behalf of 200 uh, stakeholders all around the value chain, across the value chain in Europe, they're all EU-based companies, a lot of SMEs, academia, but also large companies, they're all into it, so they co-signed this letter that basically uh, calls uh, upon you, upon the Commission, to think about BIPV. Thank you, thank you for this open letter and thank you for uh, 200 um, associations and SMEs and universities who signed it. It is very much appreciated and of course we do see that in the forthcoming uh, proposals we have to go beyond the rooftops. So uh, we address this topic already, uh, addressed, uh, it's already in our, in our strategies but as you very correctly uh, mentioned later this year after this uh, uh, July package, we will have also uh, uh, additional proposals for uh, buildings reno renovation. So, uh, so uh, this is a very uh, valuable input. And from our side, well, we recognize that we need new innovative solutions. Actually, you come to a point where you say, but why would you not integrate it in buildings if the cost is not a, a limit anymore? Well, I think. Uh, Yes, now with our Energy Efficiency Directive, we will propose that the public sector will lead by example. Yeah. So, so you will have lots of uh, new Family customers new who are who are well uh, very much puzzled how to well, renovate historic buildings, uh, especially when you don't want to put well like solar tiles on the rooftop. So I wish you all the success. Thank you very much. I'm for your very time grateful that uh, you showed me something in uh, real life. <laughs> <laughs>